This beautiful country of Turkey has seen so many changes in the last few years. And if you were thinking of coming to live here or even retire here, you might want to watch the rest of this video. In the last couple of years, there has been a big shift in the economy here in Turkey. And new rules have been enforced on immigration too, which might affect anyone that's thinking to move here or planning to retire here, which we're going to talk about a bit later on in this video. But first, let's talk about the economy. The annual inflation here is still one of the highest in the world. Officially, the figure is around 65%, which is being devastating for people who are on low incomes. The Asgara Utsret, which is the minimum wage here, is now only 17,000 Turkish lira a month, which is around £450 at today's exchange rate, which is £1 is 38 and a half lira. Of course, the foreign exchange rate has kept pace roughly with inflation over the last year, but prices will still feel expensive for tourists who come here, but still lower than most other destinations. So let's go and have a quick look at the prices in this shop here. This is BIM, which is one of the cheaper shops here in Turkey. And just compare yourselves to your prices back home. So let's have a look at the general prices in the supermarket. 30 eggs, £2.80, 9p each. Organic eggs for six, £1.05, and 5p, 17 pence each. Two kilograms of flour, 89p. Two and a half kilos of yogurt, £1.73. A litre of milk, 67 pence. Kilogram of vine tomatoes, £1.15p. Normal tomatoes loose, 84p a kilo. Loose onions, 29 pence a kilo. A kilo block of cheese, £5.50. 250 grams of margarine, 69p. 400 grams of mushrooms, 89p. Fairy dishwasher tablets, 40 of them, £5.37. 3 litres of softener, £2.30. Avocados, 60 pence each. 5 kilos of rice, £2.76. Two and a half kilos of frozen chips, three pounds eighty-five. Loose potatoes, thirty-five p a kilo. Nice apples, sixty-nine pence a kilo. Fresh oranges, thirty-three pence a kilo. Turkish bananas, ninety-four p a kilo. A big jar of black olives, two pound fifty-four. 16 toilet rolls, £2.30. Five litres of sunflower oil, £5. Fairy washing up liquid, £1.19p. Two litres of good olive oil, £9.88. A bag of crisps, that's the big size, 78p. A Waps chocolate cake bar, 22 pence. Oh, my favourite, Harry Bow Star Mix party bag, 58 pence. 
a large tin of tomato puree, 87p. A kilo of chicken breast fillets, £4.34. 400 grams of minced beef, £3.46, that's £8.66 a kilo. If you come into the local bakery, for instance, we'll just have a look at the price of the bread. Now, this is a really lovely bakery too. Can look at Nak Nakada? On. On Lira, didn't it? Come on. Yo, con you can't deck your in bed. So. So that's two lovely loaves of fresh bread for 60 lira. That's about £1.50. Now that's quite a lot of money for Turkish people, but obviously for foreigners, not a bad deal. So this is Metro, which is a bit like Booker's in the UK. Um, and you can buy what they call Top Dan here. It's a whole, wholesale place as well as being open to the public. So they've got 600 gram Nescafe, a big bag here. 600 gram and it's 338 lira. They've got a pretty good fish counter here too. And of course they clean the fish for you. So this is Chupra, which we call Sea Bream. A kilo price is seven pounds and 10p. And this is sea bass, levrek as they call it in Turkish, 12 pound and 5p a kilo. That's probably one fish. Good quality sirloin steak, 15 pounds and 5p a kilo. And this place has got quite a good alcohol section too. So liquor is highly taxed in Turkey. A bottle of Bells, that's a litre bottle, 21 pounds and 40p. And Smirnoff vodka is the same price. A half litre can of FS beer, 1 pound 55. They have a great selection of wines now here in Turkey compared to how it used to be. This is Amphora Merlot, it says, and this is 270 lira. It's actually cheaper than the UK. That's a good one, isn't it? Well, I would think so, but uh, we'll be taking wine back to the UK. <laughs> That'll be a first. <laughs> the prices for the wines varied from about five pounds. Six two and a half litre bottles of Coca-Cola £6.50, that works out at just over a pound a bottle. So how do those prices compare to where you live? Let us know in the comments. So the prices in the restaurants have gone up too, and the cheapest I could find beer in the middle of Fetier is in this place, Karma. How are you, mate? I'm good, thanks, mate. How are you? <laughs> One of the cheapest places in Fetier for beer. How much is a beer here in FS? 85. 85 Turkish lira. Draft, lira. Uh, draft beer, 85. House wine, 85. Wow, brilliant. £2.20 in good old English money. Beer prices in the other restaurants and bars vary from 100 up to 200 lira. So between £2.50 and £5, and even more for a glass of wine. Of course, the prices in the upmarket restaurants like here, this is Boazici restaurant in Fetier. It's probably on a par with Europe now. So from their menu, a mixed omelette is 4 95 an FS is £3.90 and a glass of wine is four eighty. A tuna salad is £6.60. A steak Diana, £15. Chicken shish, £7.75. And a mixed pizza, nine quid. And a cheeseburger, £6.70. An Americana coffee at Starbucks. A medium size is £2.70. But there are some cheaper fast food places like this one. And a chicken fast food meal for £5.40. But we especially liked this little place. 
chicken burrito, 140 lira, and it's delicious. I've got a homemade burger and chips, and it's 135 lira, which is about £3.50. If you look at our price comparisons that we did last year, about the same time, you'll see that most of the prices have gone up by 100% or more, not 65 as the official figure shows. But by far the biggest change in prices here is the housing and rental market, especially in the touristic areas like here in Fetier, where some landlords have hiked the rentals up by five times the price it was a year ago. So even the smallest one bedroom apartment in a reasonable location around here will still cost you around 20,000 Turkish Lira a month, which is about 500 pounds sterling at today's exchange rate. And this puts a strain on expats who live here and many who are retired just can't afford to stay. The rental prices are now out of the reach of most low earning Turkish people and the price of houses have gone up here too. A small apartment here in the resort will cost you over a hundred thousand pound. Another big change is the immigration rules. Anyone coming here for the first time to live may find they can't get a residence permit to live here unless you own a property to the value of two hundred thousand dollars or equivalent. And many areas where foreign residents account for more than 20% of the population are not issuing any more residence permits at all. You can still buy a property in those areas, but they won't let you live there. We recently applied for our residency too, and we found there's a few more requirements too, and it's much easier to get some professional help when you're applying for your residency. We went to see a guy here in Fetier called Gurkan, who's helped us for many years with our residency and other paperwork. If the people want to apply residency, they must make sure which province and which city they are applying. Ah. Because from 1st of July 2022, 1,169 neighborhoods in Turkey closed for first, for first time foreigners registration because foreigners population is more than 20% of the Turkish population. And the rules are changing every month. So if you want up-to-date information, it's a good idea before you come to Turkey to talk to the Turkish consulate in the country you're in. Just remember resorts like Fethiye over the last few years are striving to improve the standards of amenities and facilities to be on a par with Europe. This, of course, is attracting more and more wealthy people and millionaires into the area and their super yachts can often be seen in the harbour here. And people like Bill Gates have been regular visitors to here. This in turn is increasing all the prices in the resorts and many Turkish people on low wages can't afford to live anywhere near the resorts anymore. Don't let any of this put you off coming here to this wonderful country, Turkey, because Turkey is one of the most up and coming countries in the world. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss where me and Trudy go venturing next. Thanks for watching.